Welcome to part two of the Positively Vetting Atheism series. In this installment, I will try to answer a common challenge and query issued by the theistic community and people oppose the veracity of evolution. If humans evolved from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? Although atheism in and of itself does not automatically constitute the held position of evolution, it is often a part of an atheist worldview. This question is often asked by people who think the idea of evolution makes no sense. Because if we really did evolve from a specific animal, in this case monkeys, why is that specific animal still around? We didn't actually evolve from monkeys. Humans and apes share a common ancestor. The question will be more appropriately phrased as, if we humans and apes share a common ancestor, why are apes still around if humans are the more advanced stage of evolution? The answer is, not all of a specified species undergoes evolution. It depends on whether there is a need to evolve due to environmental pressures and stimulus. And it also is determined by simple branching processes. Here's a very effective analogy that may help to illustrate the point. Think of evolution as a big hammer crushing large rocks. Small rocks come from the large rocks. So if the small rocks came from the large ones, why are there still large rocks? The simple answer, of course, is that now all the rocks were crushed. So the ones that were became small, and the ones that didn't remain large. 